Right, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Continuing on with the Z1000 engine. As we left it in the previous episode, everything was stripped down. It was all sitting on the bench. I've moved the crank and the cases down to the floor for now. Started working on the sump. All the gaskets got to be removed. As you remember, it was pretty gunked up and pretty nasty in there. I've left it soaking in. Uh, I've put some degreaser in, left it soaking. And going through with a old toothbrush, just trying to clear out some of the grit and the dirt. It's obviously mixed with the oil, so it is moving around a lot more, but there is clean areas starting to appear. So I'll show you where I'm at at the moment. So this is where I'm up to. So it's just working the brush. All the areas, nooks and crannies. Just clearing it through. Just want to take out as much as I can before bringing out the parts washer and sticking it in that. That'll give it a real good clean through. I say it is pretty, uh, pretty gunky. But yeah, so I've just stuck the sump bolt back in and just say just left it soaking. Started stripping off some of the gasket. Just trying to get some clean edges. Everything else is exactly how I left it. Just moved it to one side. As I crank, I'm going to get that welded. I just need to find somebody to actually uh, balance and weld it for me. Speaking to a couple of guys I know that uh, are in workshops. Cases again, that will be the same thing. Clean out, same as we did with the Z650 a long, long time ago when we had the engine apart. Clean all the outer cases up and then go inside and give that a really good clean. As I said, these studs will be coming out, so I've got to work out how to get them out. But as I say, at the moment, it is just the cleaning process and tidying up and getting everything ready because obviously I'm going to repaint uh, these cases clean out the inside of the sump I'm going to paint the underside of the sump so that's going to black and then like I said all the outer cases will be polished uh, generator cover will be polished undecided at the moment on the rock ahead I might just polish the ends and paint replus strip that down repaint carbs they will be coming apart as we as I said in an earlier episode so we'll do a whole episode on these carbs still undecided whether to change them at the moment but we're going to strip them down anyway rebuild them so if I decide to sell them they've been stripped cleaned and rebuild rebuilt they'll be gone through the ultrasonic cleaner as well did pick up a, another item during the week. Now I've actually got it, it's not actually as big as I anticipated it was going to be. It's a Davida swing arm. Bit of a sorry state, needs complete restoration, renovation. I did think about it for so Sal, but that's not a really big, it's not as big as I thought it was, that was my own mistake. I mean I do have all the parts for it, all the eccentrics, the spindles, bearings, um, the actual pivot spindle as well, so everything is there, but it does need some work. had a rather nasty repair which would need to be sorted as I say I was hoping it was my own misjudgment really it was, these don't come up very often I think the last one I saw was 
all painted, well, it was all, uh, all painted up. That was two, two fifty, about two fifty. So it might be a case of, I'll do this up, get it powder coated, get that weld well, get that weld sorted, because that's not, uh, that's not brilliant. Get that patch repaired, get it powder coated, put it all back together. You can still buy the actual Davida. Uh, transfers and then I might stick that up for sale because I doubt I'll use it I did want something slightly bigger I was just looking at other than the GSX 1400 swing arm is quite big it does fit but then obviously there's the, how big's that rear tire gonna be, which is probably gonna be out 180, 190. Then you've got all the sprocket alignment to do. So still undecided on that one. So this one I'll save, get it repaired, get it, to, get it powder coated, back to original condition. And then that can go out on eBay shame because I thought it might be quite good but I think I'd struggle to get even a 150 in there but these things happen but no it was a good price so worth the restoration but uh, let's get back to the clean Right, so the pass washer's all ready to go. Did actually give it a good clean out, refilled it. So we're gonna run the sump through. Got a selection of brushes, obviously protective gloves, and eye covering, most important, I'll put them on in a second. So we're gonna run that through. It's going to take a while so I'll probably speed it up, put some music on the background, makes it a bit more interesting, but give this a real good clean so then we can get the gasket off and that's another one ticked off the list and then move on to the next part. For those of you that aren't familiar with my parts washer, I've used it many times, but I will do a review in uh, a future shop chat. It's been a, a really valuable piece of kit that I've had for some time, helps me out a lot. But uh, as I say, I wear protective gloves and let's start cleaning. Noisy, that's the only problem, so hold on to music and we'll get this clean. Hasn't come out too bad. I say it's bits in the corners, but overall, your insides come out pretty good. Obviously, I've got all the gasket to scrape. But yeah, there's a few little bits here and there. But a lot cleaner than what it was. Obviously, this has got residual paint on, so it's going to have to be. Uh, Probably run a bit of paint stripper over some of it just to get it out. But no, overall, happy with that. Yeah, as I say, that's, that's come out uh, pretty good. A few little areas in the corners. Uh, 
we'll get that out, I'll get it dried up and then we'll have a look at the condition. Right, so that's the, all the insides cleaned out. I've gone round, cleaned the gasket off, taken off as much as I can, smoothed it all down. It will need another going over, probably a bit of wet and dry. So the awkward bits. Just gone in with a cloth, a little screwdriver. Wrapped it round and just cleaned out the rest of the inside. Right, I've started making progress on the outside, giving it a clean down. I'm just using red Scotch Brite just to take any residual. Helps get in between the fins. I say some of the paint along here that will have to be a bit of paint stripper and wet and dry just to smooth some of it off. It is quite rough. Right. He's actually taking it off quite well. So I use either red or the softer green. Just need a smoothest finish so I can get a good key for the paint. See that's starting to come. I'll literally work round. Work around the whole surface until that's done. So I'll show you that when it's finished. Right, so it's all cleaned, prepped. You're going to give it a light dusting over with gloss back engine enamel. So I'll do this in stages, just give it a light dusting to start with so it takes the coat and then work up with a with a thicker coat. I put the sump plug back in. The only other thing I need to do is just mask off this area here. So it has come out quite well. So as I say, let me mask that bit off and we'll get some paint on. Right, so that's had a light coat. I'll leave that for about 15 20 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll do another coat. Right, so that's had about 25 minutes and we'll be back in with a heavier coat. So I've just got the other side to do and I'll show you the results. The 
So that's actually come out quite well. I'll probably give it one more coat off camera. This is purely just a test to just to see how gloss it comes out, what the finish is like. I've not used the gloss enamel before. I thought the sump would be a good one to have a look at. Obviously still undecided on the um, oil filter cap whether to go black on that one or silver or polished. It is underneath the bike so it doesn't really get seen but but no, pleased with the results on that one. As I say, I'll give it, I'll let that dry now for about half an hour. And then off camera, I'll probably give it one more coat. And no, it finishes actually quite good. That's all it is, Simonized gloss back engine enamel. Right, so thanks for joining me on that one. Uh, like I say, it's just slowly going through. This is purely a test just to see what the actual uh, paint comes out like. So, so far, it's looking pretty good, but I'll leave it for about half an hour again. And then, as I say, off camera, I'll give it one last coat and then it'll just leave it to, to dry for a couple of days. And then I can show you the results in the next episode of the, uh, of the Z1000. Next episode, I'm going to go back to the Z650, give you an update of what's going on, how, how things are progressing. But as usual... Comments in the comments box below. Appreciate all your feedback, all your comments. Big, big shout out to my patrons. I can't thank them enough. They really help. It, it, it does mean a lot. You know, it's a small group of guys, but it, it's phenomenal support. So, big, big thank you to you, to, to all your patrons. There are links to other videos at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Join me again next time. Cheers. Bye.